Hey engagement fans, welcome back to the Engagement Studio. I'm Megan Mislanka. I lead the client success team here at Quantum Workplace. Today I have a very special guest with me, Courtney Sawyer. She leads the HR team at uh, Stats and she's here to kind of help us understand how do we build trust in our leaders and in our future outlook. Thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So we know one of the hardest things to do in the engagement survey is build that trust in um, senior leaders and in the future vision of the organization or how are we going to be successful. So before we dig into those practical tips, why is it so important that employees trust the organization? Right. I think first and foremost, people don't want to work for a company where they don't trust what's going on mm -hmm. or they don't have the real results. So mm -hmm. if they don't trust their leaders and they don't trust what their leaders are telling them mm -hmm. and they won't want to stay. Yep, I think that's huge, right? That retention. Ultimately, one of the things we know is that work makes up so much of an individual's life that they need to feel that connection. Absolutely. And trust is foundational. So what advice do you have for uh, your leaders and HR partners that they can do to really boost it? engagement and drive that confidence and trust in the organization. Sure. So as leaders, um, I know the executive team has to keep some things to themselves and some things are private, but when they can, they need to absolutely communicate what's happening with the business. Mm -hmm. People can see through things mm -hmm. and if they're not being honest, people, you know, they'll never gain that trust. Mm -hmm. I think as HR leaders, it's really important that we stay close to the executives and the CEO mm -hmm. and make sure that they are communicating mm -hmm. and that they trust their employees enough. Also having that safe space for employees to ask ask questions and just make sure that the communication is a two-way street. That's awesome. I think the one concept I've heard one time or the saying that I heard is that your employees can handle more than you think. Right. And it comes down to that too, that sometimes we put our rose-colored glasses on because we don't want to share the bad news, but really they can kind of handle that. Absolutely. On the flip side, there are some actions leaders can do that maybe damage that. What are a few of those behaviors or actions you've seen that leaders or HR do that damages the trust and the confidence in the organization? Sure. When people go to their managers and they have questions or they need follow-up and people don't follow up, that's mm -hmm. first and foremost, that's going to upset people. They're not mm -hmm. going to trust you or they're going to think that you're blowing them off. Even if the answer is not the rose-colored answer or it's a little bit negative, that's okay. People can handle it. Yep. But just make sure you're following up with people. Mm -hmm. um, second, practice what you preach, mm -hmm. right? If you want people to do things, then you need to make sure that you're doing them yourself. And I'd say, thirdly, again, the open communication. Mm -hmm. People need to be having team meetings. They need to have one-on-ones. They need to have performance you know, mm -hmm. feedback reviews. Anything that you can do to just be more open with people. Mm -hmm. Don't not, you know, I see a lot of people canceling those one-on-ones a lot right. or not having the team meetings, and then people feel like they're in the mm -hmm. dark. No, I think it's so foundational and very, I don't want to call it elementary, but basic, right? Like, yeah. do what you say you're going to do, value the time with your team. Canceling one-on-ones is a big last yeah. minute is a terrible practice, right? And then the organization or your employees start to um, question that confidence and the trust in where they're headed. So Absolutely. That's great advice. Thank you for sharing with our viewers. Mm -hmm. I know that's going to be helpful for you as you think about how do we build trust in the organization? How do we kind of connect employees to that future outlook? So thanks so much for tuning in. That's all we've got for you today. Let's go make work better every day. Thanks.